I visited Ajami and the 200 scientists and researchers at Beyond Beef's Innovation Center in Los Angeles to see how the plant-based sausage gets made. Devices include a meat microscope that gives an extreme close-up. It's helped them use the yellow pea protein to mimic the structure of muscle. This picture, you see the, you know, the structure of Beyond Burger at the macro level with meat microscope and you can compare it with the ground beef. So Pretty this, close. Yeah it's, yeah. yeah, it's like it's, really close. What you see here is the way that proteins are structured, the way that fat is structured. In Beyond Burger compared to the ground pork, you know, it's very close, but, uh, you know, being perfectionist, the team has always come up with ways to improve. There's an electronic nose, which makes a fingerprint of flavor molecules. Did you know that parsley has a similar aroma molecule to cooked meat? We put a Beyond Burger or real meat in a while, and then use a chamber that we cook, cook it, create that gas phase, and inject that, you know, all flavor and aroma molecule in this electronic nose. And what comes out is a very detail of all single molecules. And you can't forget the e-mouth. It measures the resistance of products to help create similar mouth feels. The texture is important part of eating experience. You often see plant-based products are really soft or, you know, and mushy. So what, you know, we at Beyond Meat are trying to resemble that texture of the real animal meat and using uh, this e-mouth to understand the chew and texture of our products. After you find out about the science behind the products, you kind of want to know how it practically works. So we're going from the development lab to the test kitchen to figure out how it ends up on that dish. And that means doing a taste test with Head of Communications, Shira Zakai. Beyond Meat's products have no GMOs, antibiotics, and cholesterol, and it has lower saturated fat, and it's more environmentally friendly. To produce the Beyond Burger, it takes 99% less water, 93% less land, 90% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. Zakai herself is a flexitarian. She's mostly plant-based, but she'll eat meat sometimes. We're really not a brand that's going to tell people you know, what they should be doing, what they're doing wrong. We really want to allow people to eat the, you know, the meats that they love, but in a way that is better. It wants to make plant-based meats accessible to your McDonald's enthusiast and KFC diehard, and also your amateur home chef. And hey, meat lovers like myself are welcome too. Whether you want to reduce your meat consumption for environmental reasons, whether you want to do it for health reasons, we want to be able to, to give you a delicious piece of meat that's made from plants and is better for you in so many ways.